Hi you guys, this is a video showing you how to get rid of your unwanted albums in your Samsung Galaxy device, whether it's a tablet or a phone. Uh, most of you know by now that if you have a Google Plus account or a Facebook account, most of your albums will get pulled into your gallery and you end up with loads and loads of albums that actually slow uh, certain loading and certain times when you want to access your gallery quite quickly down uh, sufficiently. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go out of gallery. You can see actually I've got Facebook albums at the bottom here. And what it does with Facebook, it puts every single album you've got. So it's not just one folder. There's loads and loads of photos, loads and loads of folders. And it does the same with Google Plus as well. So what you need to do is go back to your home screen, go into settings. And when you're in settings, we need to go down to accounts. And these are accounts that are synced with your device. They're not actually accounts as in uh, account manager. So account manager actually has the application manager, I should say. Application managers, all the applications that are running on your device are stored in application manager. You can delete them and do what you want within that application there. If you go further down, you'll come to the accounts that are on your device. And what you need to do, you need to go to Facebook. You need to click on your account with Facebook. And you can see that I've unsynced them, but they're still showing in gallery. So what you need to do, you've got your gallery and you've got your calendar, you can unsync both. So really what you need to do is unsync your gallery. Uh, once that's unsynced, you'll find that even when you go back to your gallery, you'll still see uh, your Facebook photos, and for some reason they still carry on uh, loading in there. So what you need to do then is see at the top of the screen, don't panic about this, you need to actually remove the account. Now what this is doing is removing the sync account, it's not removing the application from your device, so don't worry too much doing it. So you need to remove the account, and it'll give you a message, removing the account, and delete all messages, contact, blah, 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 blah. It won't remove anything that's stored in the application that's on your device, so don't panic at this stage. So you can go ahead and remove the account. So you can see if we go back to accounts now, Facebook is still showing up there. Hang on, what are we doing? Ah, uh, there you go, it's gone. It took us a few seconds to go. So we can see now in the accounts that are synced on the device that the actual... Uh, Facebook account isn't on the device. Now you're going to need to put this back on, you're going to need to sync it back with your device, but I'll show you what I mean in a minute. And then what we need to do after we've done that, you can do the same with Google Plus, you need to actually get rid of everything that's in cache and in data. Google Plus is a bit easier than uh, Facebook because Facebook is pretty persistent. If you go to Application Manager, scroll down to, first of all, go across to all uh, applications that are there. So we want to go down to Facebook just to show you it's still on the device. Uh, better, better, better. Get down to F. And you see Facebook is still there. When you click on Facebook, and if you go to your obviously your application drawer or whatever, Facebook will still work normally. So what we need to do when we get to Facebook on your device, we need to go down and you can see there's a couple of areas that have got different things in. Firstly there's cache. I already cleared cache a while back, so you need to clear that again. And then you need to look, uh, total application size, 36, uh, 23 uh, megabytes, and total 36. So we know there's some data in there, and the data is the uh, cache storage that's on the device where it's storing certain data. There's nothing on the SD card, so you can clear that data from there as well. Click OK. And hopefully now, when we go back to gallery, so we'll go out of that, and we'll go back to gallery. With a bit of luck, when we get into gallery, you can see all the Facebook folders have gone. Now they'll remain gone, they won't come back and they'll stay the same. You can change them by going back into them settings and re-enabling sync with uh, your uh, photo gallery and whatever. You can do the same thing with Dropbox and you can do the same thing with Google Plus. Now I just want to show you uh, quickly if we go into uh, the Facebook application, what you'll get is a message so you'll, you, you'll have to sign back in again at this point. So we'll wait till it connects. I've got a pretty bad in, uh, connection here. So I'll just take this out of the way in a minute and sign in. And that should sign us back into uh, Facebook. What you normally get at this point when you sign back in, you get a message uh, from your device. It knows you've signed back into Facebook or it may... See, straight away it's popped up. So we could get back into the thingy, but now when you get back into your Facebook, straight away your Samsung device knows it wants to sync with your Samsung accounts. So at this point now, what you need to do is uncheck uh, Sync Gallery again, click Done, your Facebook will load as normal, and then all your Facebook feeds will come in, we'll get out that quickly. 
And we'll go back to gallery, uh, go back to gallery again. And you can see we go to the bottom of the gallery now. None of these Facebook feeds are coming back. Now you need to do this with all these albums that are here. Some are deletable, some are not. Google Plus is pretty much the same. You need to, and Picasso is the same again. So you need to do the same thing again. You need to go to uh, your accounts to start with. I'll quickly recap. So we'll get out of this. We'll pull down from the top. We can. We'll go into accounts. You need to go down to accounts that are linked with your phone, and you'll find your Picasso account will be under Google. So you can see there's all different accounts here. So you go to Google, and you'll pick the account you want in Google, if you've got multiple Google accounts, obviously. And as you go down again, you'll see that there are certain things synced on your phone. So Google Photos I've got disabled there, and Picasso Web Albums I've got disabled there. Now, again, you can do the whole route. You can remove and uh, re-sign in afterwards. Uh, the application will still stay on your device. So if I take the Samsung, uh, the Google Sync off here, what I'm doing, I'm taking away the sync that I've got with Google on the device temporarily, just to double check that the photos have gone out of gallery. Once they've gone out of gallery, you can go back to something like, uh, I don't know, Google Plus, go to sign into Google Plus, and as soon as you start to sign in, this pop-up will appear again, asking you to sync your device. Just make sure you've got Picasso Web, web Albums uh, unchecked, and also you've got Google Photos unchecked and you're good to go. It will remove all them albums from your uh, photo uh, gallery. Now a lot of you will be firm users of Google Plus, just the way I am to upload all my photos to uh, the cloud. Google Plus is a great way of storing your photos. It's, it doesn't share photos. If you're not using Google Plus and you're not using the photo share uh, application in there, when you first sign into Google Plus or you put Google Plus on your device, you'll be prompted to upload all photos and pictures that you take on your device to Google. Now these pictures are quite secure within Google, only you can see them if you choose to share them, unless you choose to share them I should say. Uh, so it's quite secure and what I do tend to do, if you go into Google+, Plus, you go into Photos, you go into Instant Upload, I have all my devices checked so upload when on charge and what that basically does is when you put your device on charge at night time when you go to bed, uh, through obviously you turn your, your volume off and all the rest like I do and you've probably just got your alarm on but while it's on charge during the night your photos will upload this helps save some uh, bandwidth during the day if you're out and about or if you're in work you don't want your photos to start instantly uploading in the background so if you make sure you check that box to upload only when it's on charge you'll be good to go now another question a lot of you will be asking now is okay I'd quite like to have all my photos accessible within the gallery now there are better options than having them in the gallery, tidier options. So if I go to my uh, media folder, you can see I've got quite a few different uh, options in my media folder. I've got gallery, I've got video play, which is stock. I've got gallery JB Plus, which is another gallery. And this gallery you can get from the Play Store. It's, a, it's, just a, it, it's exactly the same as the standard gallery, but it's much simpler. It's the standard uh, stock Jelly Bean brow, uh, browser for your gallery and the Jelly Bean camera you get as well. Uh, the Jelly Bean Plus... Uh, application I'll quickly show you we're going to an application there and click on a photo and it's a much smoother transition than the uh, Samsung version and if you actually I think it's not double tap bear with me if you pinch on the screen you go into film roll you can fly through your photos these are all in the cloud actually so you can see how quickly they're loading they've all been taken off the device so there's nothing cached on the device really really quick so it's just another album to use but I'm getting off track here. What I was trying to say to you is that when you have your uh, photos stored in Google+, Plus, a lot of you are saying that when you had instant upload access in your gallery, that it was easy to share photos from there because those of you who are already using Google+, Plus will know that when you go on Google+, Plus, you go into Photos, you can share, but only on Google+, Plus, so you can't share to Facebook, etc., etc. But if you download this application, Picasa, I'll just go back and show you what it's called again. It's called Picasa Tool. You get this on the Play Store. What this does, it aggregates all your albums from Google+. Plus. So we go to other albums and we go auto backup. So all the other albums that are actually on your Google+, Plus, it, it brings straight into this application. Very, very nice and easy to use. It saves having them all in your gallery. Same again, they're in the cloud, so there's no caching on your device. You can open a, a photo that's on your device. And then the good thing about having them in this particular Picasa application that you can download is that when you go to... Uh, the menu you can share it 
and you have all the same options that you have with any other photo that's on your device so you can share it via WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Google Plus if you want to go back there, any way you really want to share it. So it's a really nice useful application and it keeps everything separate from your gallery. So when you're using your photo gallery, that is for the photos on your device and the photos that you take and you want easily organised. So within your media application, you've got your gallery, you've got this Picasso tool. Now, looking on the Facebook uh, front, you can use an application again. It's free on the uh, App Store, but you can get the paid version. So if you go, it's called Pick. Let's go into it. Pick Downloader Plus. Uh, this is a paid version. The free version you can also get. So same again, this aggregates everything from Facebook. You have to sign in to start with. So if I want to go to my photos on Facebook, I can pick my albums, photo tags, timeline photos. So if I go to albums, and then you can see that the, the interface is really, really good. It gives you all your albums. It tells you how many photos in each album. Uh, we can go to any particular album we want to go to. We can open a photo in that album. And we can download the album to our device using the download tab at the top. We can... Go full screen. Uh, do, bear with me. I know you can go full screen because it does on my phone, but it's slightly different on here. Maybe some uh, uh, setting to go full screen there, but I won't go into that now. I'll just carry on uh, with this demonstration. You can go into your friends folders as well. If you go into your friend folders, you can go all your friends who've got photos on Facebook. You can go into their folders and you can share them and you can view photos without actually going through Facebook, going through that long drawn out procedure of finding that person, going into the the photo gallery, etc., etc. So really, really useful. So what I suggest you do, if you don't want your uh, gallery cluttered with all the photos that Samsung tend to throw in there, I haven't deleted them all off there, but I'll show you on my phone in the second hour where I've got it set up. If you want your album fairly organized so that just your photos are in there that you take on your phone, uh, people send to you through WhatsApp and different things, so you can have just a few albums that you can manage quite easily, this is the route to go and this is how to do it. You want to view your Google Plus photos and share them. Put the Picasso tool in a media uh, album like I've got. Use your Pick Downloader Plus for your Facebook albums and you'll be good to go. Everything will be nice and uh, neat. Now quickly on uh, my phone, if, you, if I go back to my phone, what I tend to do with my photos now because they upload straight to Google Plus, I don't tend to keep them too long on my phone. If I want to view them, I can just view them anyway because I've got a good connection in most places. Uh, so if we go back to, same thing again on here, you can see if we go back to media same thing again i've got quite a few things in media i've got video player gallery which is stock photo editor which is stock instagram and all these are separated now so my instagram separate my gallery separate my picasso for google plus and my facebook are all separate in their own place and if i go to my gallery you can see basically i've just got a couple of albums where i've been taking shots uh, recently and they're, they're pretty much easy to get to you can do what you want with them you can mess around and you haven't got this problem, certainly when you load into gallery of this slow loading uh, application. Again, if you want to use uh, JB Plus Gallery like I do for gallery for quick access, uh, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot smoother. Photos tend to be much, much faster to view. You can edit them. There's uh, different transitions within this gallery. There's all sorts of things you can do. But if you just want to view your photos and show people quite quickly, as opposed to going through the Samsung Gallery, you'll find this uh, is really, really good. You get a film roll as well when you pinch in. Uh, really, really fast. Pinch to zoom, really, really responsive when you're in a photo. You don't zoom out too far, you go back to the film strip. But I hope these tips have been useful for you. If you like them, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll try and get more tips out to you in the near future. And like I say, most of you have uh, emailed me with the uh, gallery problem, uh, scratching their heads, trying to get rid of these photos and uh, certain albums out of the gallery. And in the end, using a different uh, application like this uh, album that was shown here, this uh, JB+. Plus. If you don't want to go through this whole process of taking uh, photos out of your gallery, if you download this uh, JB+, Plus, it's a, f a Gallery JB+, Plus and it's Photo JB+, Plus, but it, the, both applications come within one application. If you download this, if you want to go that route, this will just show you photos that you've got in your gallery and you've taken on your phone. So you can do it that way if you don't want to have all your photos uh, not syncing all the time with your Samsung Gallery. But for my mind, the Samsung Gallery gets a bit crowded, a bit full, and it's better just to have your photos on your device, the photos you take, and everything have everything separate. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave comments below. Like I say, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll get more videos out to you in the near future. Thanks for watching this video.